Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Since the dawn of flight, most aircraft have shared a similar design. However, even in the early 20th century, engineers and designers were enthralled by the idea of a flying wing. Jack Northrop, who founded one of the largest aircraft manufacturers in the U.S., was one of the first to experiment with this design. In 1947, he created a prototype heavy-wing bomber known as the YB-49. Tragically, one of the two prototypes crashed in 1948. However, the flying wing shape would live on in the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, which entered service in the 1990s. Though the B-2 has proven immensely successful, it is nearing the end of its service life. For this reason, the United States military has once again tapped Northrop Grumman for an updated flying wing bomber. The result is the B-21 Raider, which was first unveiled at a ceremony in December 2022. This next-generation strategic bomber was explicitly designed as a long-range, highly survivable aircraft capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear weapons. Like its predecessor, it is designed with advanced stealth technology allowing it to penetrate sophisticated enemy air defenses with reduced risk detention. Among other things, the unveiling ceremony for the B-21 made mention of the Doolittle Raid. Launched a few months after the Pearl Harbor attack, this raid was one of the most dangerous bombing missions ever attempted. It involved a fleet of 16 B-25 Mitchell bombers taking off from aircraft carriers in the Pacific in order to bomb Tokyo. These mid-sized bombers were specially modified to carry additional fuel and stripped off non-essential equipment to reduce weight. Though it was a success, all of the B-25 bombers either crash-landed, ditched at sea, or bailed out over China after the mission, with some becoming casualties. The significance of mentioning the Doolittle Raid is that the B-21 will hopefully ensure that such risky action never needs to be retaken. Though the specifics are yet to be announced, Northrop Grumman has high hopes for this aircraft. Technology will play a significant role in the B-21's further development. Until the B-21 becomes officially available, the designation of top U.S. bomber will remain with the B-2 Spirit. Also known as the Stealth Bomber, the B-2 is a flying wing measuring 172 feet. Yeah. 
despite having no actual fuselage to speak of. It can carry 40,000 pounds in bombs and munitions inside its two internal bomb bays. Inspired by the profile of predatory birds, the B-2 is renowned for its low radar cross-section, which allows it to penetrate sophisticated enemy defenses and strike targets with incredible precision. The B-2 has an unrefueled range of approximately 6,000 nautical miles, 11,100 kilometers, and can travel even farther with the help of aerial refueling. Despite its size and a lack of tail controls, the B-2 is quite agile. Its engineers accomplished this by embracing a design concept known as aeroelasticity. Instead of a fixed vertical tail fin, the B-2 incorporates what is called a cranked kite configuration. This design consists of a pair of inwardly canted tail surfaces, often referred to as rudder vaders, which combine the function of both a rudder and an elevator into a single control surface. The B-2 incorporates several advanced technologies to enhance its stealth and combat capabilities. These include advanced radar absorbent materials, low observable techniques, integrated avionics, and state-of-the-art navigation and targeting systems. Though the plane has seen use in Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan, it remains prohibitively expensive. According to most reports, a single plane averages out to be about $2 billion. As important as the B-2 was in the history of flying wing aircraft, there's a reason it's often referred to simply as the stealth bomber. This was the first bomber to embrace what was, at the time, state-of-the-art stealth technology. In fact, at least some of the tech and design were inspired by the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, often referred to as the stealth fighter which was introduced more than a decade earlier. Nowadays, stealth technology is included in various aircraft types, including the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. But contrary to popular belief, no one feature makes for a stealth aircraft. Engineers employ a combination of techniques and design strategies to reduce the overall detectability of a plane or helicopter. 
The primary focus of stealth technology is to minimize the radar cross-section by using smooth, faceted surfaces, special shaping techniques, and radar absorbent materials that can reflect or absorb radar waves away from the source. Stealth aircraft often have unconventional, angular shapes to help further reduce radar return. At the same time, the planes employ advanced avionics and sensor integration systems to minimize any emissions that could be detected by enemy sensors. The United States military has been at the forefront of technological advancements for over a century. From stealth technology to products civilians use every day, a surprising amount of innovations have come out of places like the 509th Bomb Wing at Whitman Air Force Base in Missouri. Aside from maintaining the B-2 bomber, this site has its own innovation office intended to foster creativity, problem solving, and the development of new ideas and technologies. Among the most critical military innovations in recent years is the incredible advancement in drone technology. The term drone refers to unmanned aircraft that can be used for many different purposes. And perhaps the most advanced of these is the Northrop Grumman X-47B. The X-47B is notable for being one of the first unmanned aircraft to conduct autonomous aircraft carrier takeoffs and landings successfully. Because it is designed for stealth, the X-47B's engineers used a now familiar flying wing configuration. Only two of these unmanned aircraft were created before the program was canceled, but the X-47 would not be the US military's last investigation into unmanned flight. A good example is the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, first introduced to the Navy in 2019. Though it too is an unmanned aerial vehicle, the Stingray was specifically designed to serve as an aerial refueling platform for carrier-based aircraft. It boasts a more conventional design so that it can store enough fuel to aid multiple aircraft at once. That said, it does incorporate some stealthy design features, such as a reduced radar signature, blended wing body construction, a streamlined shape, and radar absorbing materials. No doubt, this aircraft will prove extremely useful in the coming decades. That's the end of this video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.